What up, YouTube? Ed Weskergriff coming back with a different type of video. In this video, I'm going to be showing off my top 10 most favorite cards in my Game of Thrones collection. If you're unfamiliar with my Game of Thrones PC, pretty much what I do is I set collect all the autographs that Rittenhouse Archives has produced. Rittenhouse Archives is the card company that has the license for Game of Thrones. They've had the license since 2012, and they have produced various different products. They have seasons 1 through 7 that they have made, along with a higher-end product called Valyrian Steel. So when I first started collecting these cards, they were only on season 3, so there was only 3 sets to go after. But now, if you're keeping count, there's 8. So it can get a little overwhelming. But I've been chipping away here and there throughout the years, and I have amassed quite a number of cards. I don't know the exact tally, but I'm going to show off my 10 favorites. So without further ado, here's number 10. And I had to include this card because out of all the cards I'm going to show off, this is the biggest steal that I have gotten on the list. And it is Alina Heaty. She plays Queen Cersei Lannister. And I'm just going to say it right now, out of all the characters on the show, she's definitely the one I hate the most. Uh, it's a close race between her and Grand Maester Pycelle. But since season one, I could not stand her. And Lena Headey does an amazing job as Cersei. I'm hoping by the time the show's over, she will get an Emmy nod and uh, hopefully take home the hardware. But I got this card for $30 back in 2015. And you can see what this card goes for now. It's definitely not $30. But got this for an absolute steal. Literally stole the card, pretty much. But coming in at number 10, Lena Headey, Cersei Lannister. Next, coming in at number 9, is Mr. Charles Dance. He plays a Lord Tywin Lannister. Tywin's definitely one of the more intriguing characters on the show. Definitely commanded a lot of stage presence when he was on the screen. And Charles Dance only has three total autographs in the product line. He has one in Season 1, one in Season 2, and he has another one in Valyrian Steel. This card's quite difficult to track down, and it's my favorite out of the three. Just like the photo that they have used, where he's wearing his uh, Lannister armor. So, really neat card. Then, coming in at number 8, is a card that Jason, uh, Big Fish 7499, and also Army ATC, Alec, helped me get. But this is from Season 3. This is Sophie Turner as Sons of Stark. And, like I said, Army ATC had this card. And... Uh, Big Fish 7499 uh, helped broker a deal for me to obtain this for my set. And I got this many, many years ago. And I always remember how Big Fish went out of his way to help acquire this card for me. So thank you very much, Jason. And this is definitely my favorite Sophie Turner Sunza card. Love it. Beautiful signature. So that is number eight. Coming in at number 7 is Richard Madden, the King of the North, Rob Stark. He only has two total autographs in the entire product line, one in Season 1 and one in Season 2. So he's an extremely difficult card and signature to acquire. It took me many, many years to get this card because uh, you're maybe lucky if two or three come to auction per year. And the buy it nows are quite ridiculous but was finally able to get this card for my collection. And what can I say about Rob Stark? Tremendous character. And I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't watched the show because I've only had one thing in total spoiled for me on the show and it was pretty early on. And you do not want anything spoiled for you on Game of Thrones because it is quite a ride if you have never seen the show. 
Uh, next card. Hold on a second. Coming in at number six is Sean Bean, who plays Lord Eddard Stark. Sean Bean was originally one of the reasons I checked out the show. Uh, been a big fan of him for a long time. Loved him in Lord of the Rings, and he's also my favorite Bond villain uh, when he was in Goldeneye. But he's a great actor, and I usually check out hit the shows and the movies he's involved in. So he was a big part of the marketing for season one. And just remember... I remember it being Sean Bean's new show, not Game of Thrones. But, yeah, he did a tremendous job. And love this card. Really, really nice. Okay. Coming in at number five. And a lot of people might be confused by this card, but... Um, book, book readers will appreciate this one. This is uh, Stephen Delane, who plays the one true king, Stannis Baratheon. And Stephen Delane doesn't have the best relationship with the showrunners. So he only has two autographs in the product line. Uh, one in season two and one in season three. And if you're a fan of the books, A Song of, Night of Ice and Fire, you know that compared to the TV show, Stannis is quite different. They took a lot of liberties with his character on the show. And even though I absolutely love the show, and it's my favorite show of all time, and I think it's one of the best of all time, it is a show without its flaws. And I feel that the writing for Stannis was definitely uh, one of the few flaws that the show has um, compared to his book character. But... Stephen Delane did an absolutely incredible job as Stannis. And yeah, this is number five on my list. Coming in at number four is a card that I picked up at the Wildwood Card Show. This was, at the time when I purchased this, the most expensive card that I paid for. This is Peter Dinklage, who plays Tyrion Lannister. This is from season four. I paid a hundred dollars cash at a card show for this one and just absolutely love this card love that it's from season four because I feel that is Tyrion's and Peter Dinklage's most strongest season uh, the acting that Peter does that season is absolutely phenomenal um, and it's just a really really awesome card it's definitely my favorite Tyrion autograph that they have produced Next is one of my favorite characters on the show. Uh, definitely one of the characters that I gravitated... Uh, I said that wrong. Gravitated towards the most in Season 1. It is Maisie Williams, who plays Arya Stark. And I have quite a number of her autographs, but... Picture-wise, this is probably my favorite one. And this is from Season 3. So, nice clean autograph there. Definitely a big fan of Arya. Like I said, character-wise, uh, she was definitely one of the characters that uh, I stuck to the most in Season 1 uh, between her and Jon Snow. But, really, really awesome card. And speaking of Jon Snow, this is his Season 2 autograph. There is Mr. Kit Harrington coming in at number 2. And pretty much Jon Snow is, I would say, the overwhelming majority of people's favorite character. Especially the way his story goes. But I really, really like this card. This is one of Kit's... He actually changed his autograph, as I'll show you on his Season 4 card. As you can see, his Season 4 signature is way different than his Season 2 signature. But I got this several years ago for $110, which was quite pricey at the time. Actually, I got it for less than that because at a 10% eBay bucks promotion, I believe, at the time. But uh, paid $110, and I believe this card now is close to $300. So 
If I was starting collecting these cards now, most likely I wouldn't be able to pick up this card. But thankfully I got in at the right time. And last but not least, probably going to be no surprise to anyone that knows me. Number one, Rory McCann, who plays Sandor Clegan, the Hound. And a couple of people have asked me uh, why the Hound is my favorite character. Um, I just really, really like the Hound because he's a realist. He's a survivalist. Um, he knows the way the world works. And he never sugarcoats anything. He sees through all the bullshit. And he tries to do what's right. Even though sometimes he doesn't. So he's a great anti-hero. And just love the way that Rory McCann performs as him. Even though um, in the books, actually, the Hound is a lot younger. He's in his early, uh, late 20s in the books. Uh, but obviously, Rory McCann, the actor, is in his 40s. So the Hound looks a lot older. But uh, the Hound in the book is actually a younger character. But absolutely my favorite character on the show. And this was the reason I started collecting the Game of Thrones cards, because I wanted to get a autograph of him, and um, this came up in my search feed on eBay, and the rest is history. So this is the card that started the entire collection. So that is my top ten. And one other thing I want to show you guys, and this is really the reason I wanted to do a top ten, is because I got this in. This is a custom magnetic case from the mag case from Instagram. And absolutely love the job that they did. I chose the design that's a design from season one with Ned on the Iron Throne. And I got some custom engravings here. I got the Die Wolf of House Stark on the side. And. On the other side, I got the Targaryen crest. I chose black and white. I think it came out really great. Love the uh, work that the Mag Case does. I'll leave his link down below if you want to go check it out. This is the inside of the case. As you can see, I already filled it up. Holds about 150 cards. So my entire Season 3 and Season 4 sets are in here. Along with season five in these two slots so eventually I'll probably have to get another one but absolutely love this case and thought I'd show it off so if you guys are still watching I appreciate you checking out the video I know this is a departure from sports related cards and whatnot but appreciate you guys checking out my Game of Thrones PC and that's all I got for you have a great one, and happy collecting, y'all. Take care.